I'm going to tell her, like, you need to run my life. That would be great. Because clearly I need this. She will tell <laughs> But, um, so guys, thank you for coming to So I, I, the rumor is that we had no name on our panel. Is that correct? It was a nameless panel. Originally, um, I was going to, do you guys know me? I'm Lisa Ortiz. As know, I am, uh, I've been doing this for a little bit. Uh, started off, uh, I think the first role that I had, which was recently re re-released on a box set, um, on an anniversary edition by Funimation, was a show called Record of Lotus World. Yes. Uh -huh, which just uh, came out. Actually, somebody, and I'm going to address something. Somebody tweeted something at me this morning, and I was, I was very sick. <coughs> but first, I'm going to learn how to use my cell phone. <laughs> and turn off my Spotify. There you go. Um, so, I started, I've kind of done just a little bit about me. Most of you guys know what I do. You know, I play Lena and Burr, Sonic, um, the Amy Rose, and the Flares. Um, and uh, I did, I was on the original Wings Club and a bunch of other things. Currently, I direct Pokemon Sun and Moon. Done a lot of other stuff in between there, oftentimes, which I forget. We did, um, I worked on One Piece. I worked on uh, a bunch of stuff that was on there. Have some new stuff coming up that I can't talk about. And I've directed on a bunch of video games and other things as well as still voicing doing all that jazz. Um, I don't know, has anybody seen, um, has anybody seen Psychic School Wars? Nobody? No. You should, you should go watch it. It's a, it's a great little anime that we did. Um, I did with NYAB. I directed it and worked on it. It's a very cool show. Um, so there's been, and um, I, you know, see, here's the thing that was about me, especially this early. I'm going to have a bite of a taquito while I talk to you. <laughs> Only, not because it will keep me from being rude, but it will just keep my, my brain having a little bit of blood sugar. I'm a little bit, um, a little bit... This is, this is, this is, this is, this is like, like I'm totally doing. So here's the deal. Yesterday, like I was with Jessica. Was anybody here at Jessica's panel? I'm destroying everything. I'm a horrible human being. I love you. I'm glad you guys all came here. Here. Yesterday we were saying it was Tex Max with me. So this is it's breakfast with Lisa Ortiz. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yes. No, they're good. I can't get. I can't get those at home. Not much anyway. Um, so I want to open this up. So I've been, I've been doing, I took a little time off and I like sort of like uh, pulled back my schedule a little bit because I've got much stuff going on at home work and stuff. I just got out of um, a big streak of uh, recording a bunch of episodes and some other stuff, movie and a bunch of different things. So I have not seen the light of day in a very long time. So this is the first time that I'm out of the studio for like 10 to 12 hours a day in a long time. I feel like a freak. Um, and then I need to text us, I'm going to go outside. <laughs> and it was August. Yeah. So I did. I walked outside for like a minute and a half. And uh, considering, <laughs> I love being outside. I'm like a, I'm a runner, I'm a hiker, I love being outside. I walked outside for like a minute and a half, and I was like, oh. I have a friend who, um, I said, oh, I'm coming out to Texas, blah, 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 like in August. Like, oh, that's really cool. Did you lose a bet? Like August in, in, in Texas in August. I was like, what are you kidding? I'm like, I can totally handle the heat. What are you? It's good. I understand. And I walk with my brothers out here. I walk outside. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a, uh, what's the other word for horrible? Um, awesome. This is awesome. That's <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, though, it's very cool to be out here. Uh, I would love, um, I mean, I can tell you a little bit about me, how I got started, things like that. I don't know, some of you have been here before, I don't have any questions about specific things. Um, there was a video, I have a, I keep talking about it, but I haven't watched it because I haven't been able to pull it down from um, YouTube here because I didn't realize the internet would be kind of spotty. Um, and I doubt that anything could be played off my phone because that's really bizarre. But um, I started uh, an organization called Voices for Pastors with um, Sarah Hatterton and I founded it with a bunch of cast members from Sun and Moon. It was based on, do, do any of you watch that show in particular? Yeah, okay, yeah. so um, do you know the episode One Journey Ends, One Begins? It's where, it's where Lytton, um, it's where Lytton Stout and they were there in uh, 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 So at the time that that had happened, um, Sarah, it, it's really, I'm, I'm Lytton as well as directing, so we work inside there. So she had been, um, her, she had a cat for 19 years and had gotten sick. And actually it started to get sick right on the first episode that she had to do for like, it was kind of crazy. Um, so uh, it, we, it's all, it's all fun, things happened. It had passed away right before that episode came out, so it was hugely emotional. 
but um, she started fostering. Um, she started fostering kittens from there, and I had not had kittens since. My own cat had that's right. This is a sad story. I'm glad I started with the comedy. Here you go, guys. You want to cry? That's great. Let me have a little bit of my tequila. <laughs> Tears before 11 with Lisa Ortiz. Learn to chew. No, seriously, I have to chew now. I took a big bite. But um, I had wanted to show the video. I did not. Um, we started this organization because I wound up adopting her kittens um, that she was fostering, which are really cute. They are named Booty and Liddy. Um, yeah, Booty is short for Boudica, so she's very kick-ass. And Liddy is short for exactly what you think it's short for. But um, but yeah, so uh, if you ever see me walking around, this is also a warning, if you ever see me walking around some LA's lately, I've been at mauled or attacked by anything. Um, it's because I have kittens. So yeah, so actually here in Texas is the first time that I get to sleep through the night without them crawling over my face and fighting it. I'm a spokesman for getting kittens, but um, but um, that being said, that was the greatest non sequitur I ever had before. I had no coffee. Um, what do you guys want to talk about? I mean, I can tell you some of the origins, tell you stuff. I've worked as a producer, I've worked as a director um, for years. I've also, you know, I, obviously I started behind the microphone and I still am there. Does anybody have particular questions, or I'll I'll, I'll talk? Yes. Hi, um, Jazzy Nay from the next crew. We actually uh, tweeted. Uh, yes, bit. yes. Yeah. And then I didn't get in until 12 o'clock in the morning and spent my first day in the ER. But that was good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another, that's another story. That's another story. That's okay. It wasn't me. I'm safe. <laughs> now I feel bad for even saying anything. No, 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 no. It's good. Say. Say the thing. So I will, I will say that my family are huge fans. Uh, my daughter loves you. She never knew what Slayers was until this guy brought his box sets. Sets. I, you're great. I yeah. love you already. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's right. Like, so... So your Lena and Verse is uh, amazing. Um, so we did want to ask you, um, who do you think would win a round of Connect Four between yourself and Jessica Calvello? <laughs> Connect Four? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, oh, I would win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just, just because yes. I'm a you know, That's so people don't expect. They don't expect <laughs> this yes. strategy. You know, it would start. It would start off first. You have like eight stalemates, and then you know you move into it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thrown down connect four great. You know she's gonna, she's gonna come get she's gonna come at me after this. <laughs> we will keep this in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. like we'll keep this in the room, just ignore the camera. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't know if All right, else questions. Yes. Is there a dream character you've always wanted to play with voice? Um, you know, that's always a weird, it, it's a weird question. I'm very much, there's, there are characters that have popped up and there's been series that have popped up that I would love to be involved in, obviously. Um, I uh, took early on, I mean, there's so much stuff that comes out, especially animation and things like that now, but I am, for the most part, in New York. I've gone to, I go to LA every once in a while, but I'm mostly in New York. So there are a lot of them. Um, but um, I'm actually, Okay, so let me explain this. <laughs> let me explain. You, I, I've spent a lot of my career for a while. People were like, "You're sassy, and you can save the world." It was great. I love doing that. Love doing that. And then I had some. I'm, I'm often like straightforward. Nice. What I really like to do, which is a lot of fun, is I want to be someone who is very hardcore, and and being evil is fun sometimes too. Just as, a, just as a change up. Now, um, I do have a show that's coming out that I can't talk about. It hasn't been announced yet okay. um, on an ongoing, ongoing series. And um, I get to be a very hardcore person. Like, not, yeah, like, hard, like very kick-ass. That's my, my thing. And um, I am loving it. I, it's There's my voice in the middle. I think it's such a but, um, but so it's really, really fun. So in a way, like, it, see, that's, and that's the way, that's what I'm, what I'm answering, I guess, for using there's things you think you want to play, and there are things that you want to play, and then there's stuff that gets opened up that you didn't think you would, you know, you didn't even know about, and you walk into it, and you're like, this is the best thing. I'm having so much fun doing this. And, um, yeah, so this is, and this has been fun, and, like, to be able to do it for, like, episodes and episodes and episodes is a great thing. So, um, to really, I always want to ask people in there, too. I want to be like, what should I be, what should, what is, what is everyone, but I know what everybody's watching. I'm watching you, and I'm like, oh, what's happening? Um, uh, yeah, so that's it. So I like, 
So yeah, so I like sort of like surprises. You, you guys figured out this is me ramble all over breakfast. Like <laughs> right? It's good, as long as you're happy with it, that's fine. Uh, someone over here had a question. Did you, or were you just scratching your hair? Which is totally okay. I get it, I have that sometimes. Yeah, that was it, that was it. Your question was, does my hair look good? Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> What's the difference between directly Pokemon and actually being a voice actor? Uh, what's the difference between, he's asking direct and Pokemon actually being a voice actor? It's, um, that's actually a really interesting question because I've directed myself in a lot of stuff. When you're, um, you have a different eye when you're directing. Also, a lot of people are walking in, the script before you're looking at it over you're looking at the overreaching thing of everything um there are some aspects of it which are the same i know it sounds kind of weird but my the way that i work and as a director is that you're kind of as you're recording each person you have the view of the whole thing you know how people sit together you know how this one is going to answer to this one and like what it should do or you're like this person you're not you're what you just said was really great but the reaction that they have, you have to kind of get that out of the next person, like their line, like they're gonna freak out when you say that and you have to kind of change it up. And um, you're looking at the bigger thing. And when you're, I, I'm, I'm like, I sit in the booth with somebody and I literally, <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys know what subtext is? Yeah, yeah. so okay, cool. Now, and I don't mean like subtext, it's a stupid question, but like an act is like what everybody's actually thinking in their, in their thing. Yeah. So I have that for every single character in the show, whether it's a Pokemon or not. Like I will go in and I have like a store, like we'll we'll just be going back and forth. And um, I think it plays pop shows, you're very specific. I'm like, I know, but I know what you think. Look, okay? You have feelings. <laughs> very important. But when you're in the booth yourself, um, I'm focused on, you have to focus on being a performer first. So uh, you're trying to be more in the moment of that. I can't think about you, to me, and it's always a little bit more instinctual. Even though you know what you're doing, you have all that. Whenever you're in the booth and you're working, it's like, right, you're kind of reacting to everything that's happening there. So I have to react to whatever I see, and then I have to kind of watch it back. And, because uh, you can't listen to yourself. This is a, I mean, you, some people can, some people do, and I have done that on certain things, and it depends. But on some things that you're doing, you have to just kind of go in and do it, not really know what you sound like, and then I have to watch it back and then make sure that like with the eye that I that it sounded like what you did. Because sometimes you think you're giving something and it, it still doesn't, you know, it, it comes across different. So so that's the thing, because there's like an extra hat that you have to take on and off afterwards. I usually wind up when I'm in the booth ever directing myself, I do a bunch of different takes and then I have to go back and like match them all together and see and, and see what it is. And a lot of times I'll record something and then I have to go back in and I'm like, that still wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't quite right. When you have an ear out there who's sort of watching you and pulling stuff up or out, um, as an but it's fun. I mean, I love, I love doing it. And the other thing that's cool is um, you can kind of do as much as you want. Like I can, if I go in and I'm, and I'm doing it, um, if I do like a take or two or something fits in and I can go back, like, cause that's, that's how it works. This is why I need the taquito to like feed me because like that's it. I think I went through that whole bite now. I'm gonna be the second bite. I'm gonna say any more English. Um, but um, but sometimes I'll I'll watch it and I'm like, all right, hey, I see where I was going. And as a performer, as a post director, I know what I wanted and I know what I was able to go and where I was able to go. So I can go back and like redo stuff or like tweak. It. So uh, so it's fun, but it's wearing different hats. Um, and sometimes, depending on what it is on certain shows or different stuff, that I've, when I've done that, um, I have, I will have somebody else in the in the booth sort of run things for me. Like I did that, I had to, I had to record a bunch of stuff before I left, and um, Alan's in the room with me, so he'll. It's really funny because he'll go through. He's like, "That was great." I'm like, "Okay, that was really good." He's like, "He's like, was that good? Would you like that?" I'm like, "I have no idea. Play it back." <laughs> I'm like, okay, now, because I can't, I also, when I'm in the booth as a performer, I can't, I don't know what I sounded like until I see it with the picture. When I'm in there with somebody, I'm watching the screen as it's coming in, so I already can, like, match them to what's going on. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's weird, yeah, so, that's what, I like doing it. I love, I love, I love it. Um, anything, any other questions? Yes? Ah, you're asking me what my favorite Pokemon is? This is great, because we talk about this all the time in the booth. Okay. Um, I, I, I can't make a distinction of like what my favorite Pokemon is. I will say this. 
Uh, I have I have I have an array of favorites, and they're based on different things. Okay, um, one. So, um, I and they change because like, I I love the Pokemon that I've worked on. Like, I love like Ashwa, I love Litten, I love them all. I would obviously own them, but then I think a little bit further than that. Yeah. I'm like, if I owned this Pokemon and it lived in my apartment in New York City. What would happen, and would I get kicked out by my landlord? <laughs> <laughs> These are how I judge things. So um, currently, I will say there's. I mean, there's some that are just like favorites. All I love the cute ones. I like. Um, um, uh, where was I just gonna go? Okay. Also, I'm gonna tell you guys this. It's early. Secondly, okay, I cannot keep everyone's Poké name together. I do have three Poké decks that I use in the studio. I refer to them every day, every time for pronunciation. This I look up all the stats and I look up everything. Okay, so I, I no, I'm hardcore. I go through the whole thing. You guys have to. I'm like, okay, what are we doing over here? Who are we? All right, and then I have to go back to my bank of all of them things that they've sounded like. Listen to all of those. But I, I have like Poké decks. So if I get something wrong. Even Ash has a Pokédex, okay? <laughs> and he can't remember what he did four seasons ago, so it's okay. <laughs> I mean, come on. So, um, so to answer your question. So, um, all all over the place, some of the ones that I loved, I love working with doing this. Like, I, I, there are going to be a lot of them from last season and some of this season. I'm a big Halucha fan because I love Halucha. Now, would I own a Halucha? No. Would I hang out with somebody who had a Halucha? Hell yeah. <laughs> I would hang out and I'd be like, hello, Halucha, what's up? And um, and he would be like Halucha, and he'll be great. And <laughs> um, so um, I will say that there are like I love I love I love all like the the little Eevees and the cuties like those are all cute. Um, Lit and I decided I love I love I love some Lit and then the thing that just frightens me is that day when it like evolves completely. And then um, do you, have you guys seen the evolutions or and all that? So and I'm trying to explain to like people who come to my house why like the cute lid that was sitting in their lap suddenly is like a it's a thundercat. And I'm like <laughs> I was like, no, just trust me, it won't hurt you. It's just gonna be in your lap. It's okay. It's, it's totally normal. It's, it's, what are you gonna do? Um so um so we have those I do love as far as I'm trying to think of um I, I, if I was going to have one, just as a daily basis, I would want to have a Charizard because who wouldn't? Um, except, okay, and I actually had this conversation in the studio the other day. This is really sad. This is, this is I'm very invested. I spend 12 hours a day in there, okay, sometimes, 10 to 12. Um, but I was really upset because we were talking about like, what Pokemon would you have? And I was like, well, if I had a Charizard, it'd be like a ride. I'd be like, that would be cool. I could go anywhere I wanted to. I'm like, but where the heck would I park it? And then, without missing a beat, my actors in the booth looks up at me and is like, in the Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant! <laughs> so that changed my life. <laughs> I was like, all right. Um, I do, you know, and I, there's, there's, I don't, I don't know if it answers, but there's, there's others. There's like, obviously like cute and adorable ones. I, and also the, um, my current, my current love, are also I love um, despite their despite their backgrounds are Cubone and Marowak and all of them because they have like the attitude and they're kind of adorable and that is the the um, the old dog <laughs> in me who is like I'm like that's great you have a cute little come on over that's good don't worry we won't talk about your origin story I'll tell you who I will not have in my home. No, just just a mimic who scares the hell out of me. Oh, yeah. I just don't, I mean, it's like cute, but it's like... It's like a scarecrow from Batman. I, 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 like, that's all I can think of when I'm like, oh my gosh. Now these, just as I'm going to announce this, this is, I, I, I am myself, I do not represent the Pokemon company. These are my thoughts, these are how I feel, this is my reactions as one of you to the loving creatures that I spend lots of time with. So, um, that's my disclaimer, but right? <laughs> Which is cool, and all he wants is to be loved. That's okay. That and, yeah, so that's, and, and, and so, you know, I mean, there's a whole bunch of others from, like, other generations that I love, but it's hard when you spend a lot of time in the room with the ones that you have now to not be, like, in love with those guys, you know? Uh, what would you have? What? 
and we're always going back to back. And I always would mess with him, I'm like, so you're thirsty? I'm like, are you thirsty? Are you like, okay, can I borrow some water? Is that okay? <laughs> and um, so we're walking, crossing the street, and I know he's booked after me. I, I can, we got out a little early, I'm walking across, and I see, like, I see him far away, I have my glasses on, and I'm like, you know, and he doesn't have his water jug, so I go over to mess with him, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, where's your water? You're actually a Nigerian grainer. Okay, because he worked around the corner and I was like, all right, we're gonna keep walking. Um, <laughs> like, is I don't wanna know where your water is. I do, but I'm not going to ask you. Um, so that, it's because they have the same, they have the same hair. Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was good. But yeah, as far as like messing with them, you know, I'm trying to think if there's ever been anything dangerous. But I don't know, if I remember stories, I'll tell you. Um, anything, any other, there was another question maybe. Wait. You had the other question, then I'll ask you, and then I'm going to ask you. Yes, you, you, you her first because, oh, well, you haven't asked a question, have you? Have you asked a question in the white shirt? I have a question, but I haven't asked one yet. Okay, so you can let it, you ask one first, and then you'll ask one. Sure. Then you'll ask one. It's also because you're all in a row, so it makes it easier for me to understand things. That's good. No, don't do that! You have to spoil the continuity of the room! Jeez! All right, what was your question? Uh, I was, well, uh, before you do it, like the directly of producing of your uh, the English versions of the anime, do you ever watch it in, in Japanese before? Do I watch the, the show in Japanese? Yeah. You, oh my gosh, yes. Sorry, Takito. To get an idea of what you need to do each time? I watch every show in Japanese first. I'm not doing it. Not always as an actor, I don't always have that opportunity. But I'm personally, I'm very. Um, there are some things that change depending on the company that you're with, but I always watch it first. I'm always looking for, I cannot speak Japanese to this day, except for a few things. I think I can say idiot. Um, I say something else, and my best friend is uh, Japanese and taught me some things that I will not repeat. Um, <laughs> one, because I shouldn't, and secondly, because they won't sound like what they're supposed to sound like anyway. Okay? Any time I try to speak Japanese, it turns into Spanish because they have similar, yeah, like, yes. you know, they have similar things, which is actually really fun because sometimes I watch the original Japanese and some words, I'm like, did they just say, wait, what? <laughs> Suddenly they were speaking Spanish, but they weren't, they were speaking Japanese. Um, I, um, but I always do watch, and I, I cannot speak the language, but I will say that over working on it for so many years, I definitely can understand the nuance of what's going on. So uh, I usually do watch for that, and I try, um, sometimes also in sessions as well, I'll play those depending on what happens. Because um, there's some shows that are shorter in, in sequence, like you'll have 13 episodes that you're working on. A lot of times for me, with that, through a season, and you're working on a couple of those episodes at a time. I'm working on, you know, between 35 and 45 episodes for a season a year, and then we go straight into the next one, plus anything else that's on there, besides other projects that I'm doing. So sometimes I may have eight episodes open at a time. I'll have watched them all, but even when I'm in session, sometimes I'll we'll go through and I'll play the Japanese so that we make sure that we're we're in the right space. Because I I we don't necessarily have to do everything the same, but we don't. But I do like to sort of have the guidance of where they were coming, like like what emotionally or whatever they were coming from, or where they were comedy, like their their point was. And also, it's fun to watch. <laughs> uh, but so yes, I always do. I wouldn't I wouldn't work on a show without what like this director or producer without watching it first. Any other questions? Yes, it's still your turn. Even though you moved the row, which is kind of crazy pants. Yes, still going. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, what was some of the challenges that you didn't expect when you first started directing? When I first started directing, what was some of the challenges that I didn't expect? Um, No, 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 I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out. The first stuff that I worked on, uh, it, it's, you do have a shorthand also with, um, with actors and performers based on what you, you do. Um, sometimes, it, and there's sessions that flow and flow and flow, and then there's some that it's harder for you to sort of articulate things. Some people get stuff and you, and you, you can kind of like, like I'll joke, like, like um, Jason and I know each other. I was telling a story the other day about how I gave him a direction when he worked on this, this show, this cartoon, not an anime, but, um, and he has a sparkly headband, and we would joke about it. So instead of actually giving him more things, I would just say, just give me more sparkle in your headband, and he was really cool about that. Um, sometimes you have, you have to be judicious about what you tell and what you don't. Um, some people want to know a lot of details, some people 
people don't want to know a lot of detail. Some people don't ever want to see the original, the original Japanese. Some people do because here's the thing: um, when you're working, it depends on your ear. There's some people who are really, and I and I have this. I worked on um, uh, in older world. I worked with a with a bunch of other actors. If they and they would play scratch tracks. Once you hear that, whether it's in English or in Japanese, it's very hard to give a different performance than what you hear if you're used to listening to 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 like a level. And something that is in another language or something that someone else says, the read that they give it, you can do a different interpretation that is the same thing and has the same effect of that, maybe even better, because it's it'll it'll be more you, but you'll only do that if you hear it. it you'll you'll never get to that place. So that was a that was a weird thing, was trying to figure out how different people work, how things go like that. But also sometimes um, sometimes you have most of the time everyone is awesome, but sometimes you have actors that have a very specific idea of what they what they want to do, but you know a broader sense of what's happening. So you kinda of have to like bring them to that. And you're like, okay, I get that. I'm just telling you, in like ten episodes, this is gonna be really important. So just try it, just try it, see, let's see what happens, that's great. Um, but I didn't, I also didn't expect, um, I, what I was talking about earlier, I didn't expect that I would be, it, you wind up being as invested in each character as you're doing it, as you would be if you were playing that character. And that's something that I didn't, I didn't like expect. I also didn't expect to get like into these like people's lives so much. It's very sad. I'm like, Sometimes I was so happy when our producer came because she and I were able to like talk. I was like, so this and this and this happened in the episode and this is great. And so other than that, I always can see like fans and other people that I can have conversations because after a while, people in the studio, I'm like, so this happened in this episode. They're like, yeah. I'm like, I've been with this for 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I love to work. Um, but but yeah. So that's so that's the thing. It's just. Sometimes it's hard to, it's, it's not hard, but it's a different challenge when you're on stage using the whole body to, uh, and I didn't expect this either, is that sometimes when you're talking to someone about something, rather than just talking about the emotion or what's happening, sometimes I just I just talk about body positions. I'm like, I'm like, arch your eyebrows more, or you know, or smile or do this, like it's, because it's, even though it's just your voice, it's a physical, it's a physical thing, and that's how I, like it's very grounded in like the body. I don't know if that makes sense, or what yes. it? Yeah, that's good. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, you had a question. Do you still have your question? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Okay, so... That'd be great if you got lost on the extent. <laughs> okay, sorry. Right. Oh, <laughs> go for it. I love talking to you, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> if you could cosplay any character you have done a voice for, who would it be? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So, I'm chewing. No, you're fine. I have not historically cosplayed. I will tell you this. Now, that's it's changing. It's changing. Okay. But I have not historically cosplayed. I'm trying to think of who I would. Um, I have not historically cosplayed. The only thing that I've ever done was a character, which is for Halloween, so I don't consider it cosplay, mm -hmm. was um, She Ra. Um, with power, and that's not an anime, but if I can get some of my characters, but I, this year, I have, my, my best friend is, um, is a cosplayer, she's a seamstress, she has all her stuff, so she always does that, so she, she's indoctrinating me this year, we go okay. on, 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 on some things, so we'll see. Um, who would I cosplay? Let's see. Um, as far as, like, fun, and we've talked about, I've talked to, uh, on the new show I'm working on, we've talked about that actually. We're like, we're gonna do this. I'm like, all right, that's fun. Um, but um, I mean, like, here's the thing. With like, here's the thing. I would need help because I would love to like give a good cosplay of Mina because I don't have the, the yeah. thing for that. And also, like, I think it'd be a lot of work. Yes. May I suggest? One? Suggest one. I would suggest one. So I don't know. I I'm a huge fan of his and her circumstances. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I did not know that you did Subasa. Oh, I did not know that. And I love her. Although she started out real evil. <laughs> she had issues. She had yeah. major issues. But with her backstory became more and more, you just like, okay, then you start to love her. 
I think you would make a good Tsubasa because it's really simple. You just need the school uniform and the long wig. See, I'm, I like, see, this is why she's managing my life. Right now. <laughs> I'm like, this is good. She's like, start simple. Okay. I think Subasa would be a good starting point. Okay. And, and, and of course, we someone would take one of the Pokemon, but that's a good starting uh, Well, no, I would go with that first because it was a Pokemon. I mean, it would be it would be helpful today because I would be very warm if I put something on. But um, I love that. And also, just like sheer um, visual, like things, costumes, and things that I loved. I also I would start simple. Like, this is good. I loved. If you guys watched, there was a show called um, First Month with Captain Tyler. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. And I loved her. She was, you know, because her hair was pink. Hair was pink. Yeah. Something that's been on my mind for a long time. Did you actually ever do voices for a video game called Eternal Sonata? Because it's a character up there whose voice actress is credited as Amy Rose, mm -hmm. and people say, "Oh, that's Lisa Ortiz," mm -hmm. as like an alias. Mm -hmm. Is that actually true? You know, when did this come out? 2010. I don't know that that is. I don't know that that is me. That's that's. Here's the. And I'm gonna now this is the other thing. Like I said, I have a Pokedex for all the Pokemon. I have like a Lisa Dex for me. Oh, I can't yeah. remember what I do for day to day. Is it called IMDb? Um, yeah, it's called IMDb though. I didn't. IMDb is sometimes wrong. Mm. So there's a couple of things that are sometimes wrong. Yeah, oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to. Um, I didn't send a couple of things. Um. But, um, which one is it? Sonata? Eternal Sonata. What's the storyline on that one? That's how I remember everything. Eternal Sonata is the, um... It's a video game. Well, I know that, but it's got... Which one is it? <laughs> and the whole game is his dying dream. Yes. No, I did not. Oh, okay. No, I don't believe that's me. Mm. The mystery is finally solved. Yeah, so... If, if something is different, I will tell you. If okay. I go, because I'm going to go, I'll, I'll look it up later. But, um... I tried to do it now, but the reception is really bad. I, hi, everybody. Hi, welcome, people. Um, yes, so um, any other? Yes, you have a question. Yes. Is there, this is just like oh. sheer view. Oh, and then we'll go to the last. You, you, I was going to grab him, and then I was going to grab you, too. Here, why don't, I'm going to grab you first, because you're over there, and also because your hair still looks good. So then <laughs> we'll grab you second. Here we go. Has there ever been any voice role you wish you could have done? We were talking about that before. There, there are. There's a lot of... Um, I try not to, and, and I'll give you the short answers here, I try not to go too much into that because then there's so many projects and there's so much stuff that's really great that if you start to think of stuff that you wish you could have played or would like to have done, then you fall into like a black hole. Um, but there's a lot of shows that I would love to, that I would love to, that I would love to work on. Um, I also just, I've been doing this for so long, I also know a lot of it has to do with where you are. You know, because it's in, we have, I'm, I'm in New York, I'm grounded there, so unless I can come out to somewhere else, like in, like out to Texas or out to LA for a while, there's a lot of stuff that I can. So, yes, but. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it, it will make me sad. <laughs> no, it won't make me actually sad, I won't cry or anything. I'll just drown myself in time. <laughs> Good old Tokyo. Come on, Good question. So, just like last night when everyone was like doing whatever, you had your headphones on. But what music or podcasts or whatever stuff do you listen to or consume just in your oh, free time? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I listen. I listen to a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I was listening to Gerard Luke. There's a, actually, I'll pull up my music and show you my podcast list. A lot of the podcasts, I've listened to a lot of comedy podcasts. I listen to a lot of stuff. Um, um, I listen to a lot of improv podcasts as well. And then there's a bunch of, you know, I listen to like Radio Lab and all those things too. So I have a bunch of those. Um, I do listen to like uh, Nerdist podcasts and a bunch of those. And um, as far as music goes, I am on loop on bizarre, strange things. So uh, I get, I always take suggestions on that. So listening to Gary, I listen to a lot of indie stuff. There's, um, I'm a big fan of, uh, I'll read you. I, this is bizarre, I don't know. Um, I have Santa Gold on here. I have, I was listening to Bishop Briggs, Lola Moon. Do you know Magic Wands? I listen to a lot of 
weird. I'm a big fan of the exercise of Jimi Hendrix on here with the Hamilton, goes to Hamilton on Endless Loop over and over and over, and over again. Um, I listen to a lot of things over and over and over again. Um, Kid Goody, let's see. Um, Lock Party, yeah. I'm like ratchet on. So, yeah, I listen to that over and over again. So, yeah, so I, I have a lot of stuff. I usually try to, I, I love getting new music and different stuff. So, I go on vendors. I went on, um, I'll go on a vendor sometimes. Like, like a, I, I went on a Bishop Briggs vendor. I went on a Jimi Hendrix vendor for a while. I also went on a jump band vendor for a little bit. So, um, I, it really just, it really just depends. But I will say that I spend a lot of time. I really need, especially in between here, I'll listen to music all the time. I'll listen to it on the subway. I'll listen to it. And anybody suggest anything? I love it. Oh, and um, wait a second. And what's my go-to? Look, I'm so invested in this. Let me look. Let me look at my Lisa decks. Here we go. Um, what's in here? I'm trying to see what's actually downloaded because it also depends if I get on the subway and I've lost reception. Because uh, then I, I can only listen to the albums that are actually downloaded because that didn't get thrown away. Yeah. You know, which makes me very sad. Um, you might have also realized that I have the memory of a fig in it sometimes. So, Discovery and who did I go see? I went to go see my Aunt Word in concert, which was really fun. Um, Alright, I'm going to keep going in and Major Laser, who's I love. Yeah, I'm a big, yeah. I don't know why. This is this is just the things that I listen to on my way here. So uh, from New York. So I don't know why because don't don't do that. Now I'm gonna get stuck in the black hole of my phone. Never ever let me look at my phone for more than a minute and a half. Just so that I mean I'll chew you away, but just never let me do it. It's bad, bad, bad form. Um, other question? Did I answer your questions? I hope good. Um, you should give me suggestions if you have podcast suggestions, especially like comedy stuff or like um, even anime stuff. Like, let me know who you think I should be listening to because I would love to. Yes, questions. Do you have a question first? Mm -hmm. That rare once in a blue moon chance. What do you do when you free time? Wait, 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 wait. Say me, say me again. I have to hear. Hello. And that rare chance when you actually get free time, what do you do? Oh, what do I do in my free time? I come here. No. <laughs> Um, I, I, I do, I actually do a lot of stuff. I like to, I go, I watch movies, I watch theater, I watch Game of Thrones endlessly. Um, I'm, I am a novice rock climber, so I've been rock climbing for the past year and a half, and I'm also a runner. And, um, so I do that. I also, I love going out and stuff in the city, but I love, and I'm also a big, an avid reader, so I'll, I'll do all that stuff. I'm always kind of looking for, like, a new show or something, but, but my latest thing has been, um, I love, I love rock climbing. I actually brought my shoes with me so that I could find. I'm probably I'm not going to go outside on rocks because it's hot, <laughs> and I don't want to melt and spontaneously burst into flames. I mean, I kind of do because what an experience, right? But then I would be able to tell you about it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, and I do. You know, I do. I do. I do fun. I do. Um, now, a lot of people ask, do I watch anime? I do. I'm always behind on everything. And this actually, when I was working on video games, I would have this. One of my friends. Um, who, who works with us, uh, my, my game developer friends, some of them would say the same thing, he writes, he writes scores and composers, he writes scores and compositions for a bunch of games, and we would put Matt, he's like, there's so much stuff that I want to play, and yet I can't, because I'm working. <laughs> I'm like creating things, so I can't do it. But, um, so I always ask, even when I come out for like, lists of things that people think that I should be watching. Or, uh, or shows that I think I would like and whatnot, and I, and I try to catch up on them desperately. Also, um, if you ever see me on the subway, which you probably won't because you guys live in Texas, but, um, but I'm still, this is a, this is a turn phrase, turn phrase. Um, and uh, I, I try, now they have wireless at every station, so I literally try to catch up on shows while I'm on the subway coming to work. Like sometimes I'll read a book, but I'll sit there and I'll watch. But it's really hard because you are watching a show in like five minute sections in between stations. So I'll get just enough reception to get to a point. I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then I have to wait till it comes up to the next thing. But, um, but yes. And, um, and if I don't know what to do, then I just watch endless episodes of Archer. And that's pretty much, yeah. That's, that's if I'm like, what should I do now? I'm not sure. I can watch endless episodes of Archer. 
departure. Yes, questions, any other questions? Was there a question over here? There's something you had a question, yes. What was your favorite line you've ever said? What, the, my favorite line that I've ever said? Um, oh, dude, oh, there was some, the, 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 the one that always stays is the first line that I ever said in my professional career because it's my favorite thing to ever say to start in my work is, ew, it's moldy in here. <laughs> um, which is the first line that Deep Lip says in Record of Lotus War. And uh, so that was, that launched my career. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. Yes. There's, a, occasionally there's, there are, oh man, okay, I have to come back to this because there was something that got said the other day that I literally, I had to send myself a message because I wanted to remember it forever. It was like a, something that we rewrote in, a, in the booth. Um, but yeah, but, but, but to date, if you ask me, that is, that is my favorite line of all time. I mean, I love, I love sort of like screaming and yelling, um, um, spelling and so on, but that is my favorite. Any other questions? Anything on this side or over here? I like your ears. They're very lovely. I like both of your ears. See? Shiny. And then we got fuzzy in the back. I like it. That's good. It's colorful. Yes? <laughs> kind of along the same lines as last question. Mm -hmm. uh, you or someone you work with, any really good ad -libs? Um. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a time. Would you guys see me for how much time do we have left? Uh, we have 10 minutes. Less than a minute. Less than a minute. Oh, wow, this is a speed round. I'm thinking ad libs. There's been some crazy ad libs. A lot of them. Now, there's a discrepancy between time. I thought it was still a little dirty. I'm sorry. But it is. Oh, it says on the schedule. We're ending 10 minutes early. Okay. All right. And I won't ask you to close the door. I'm very. You may have noticed this. Some of you might have guessed. I might be a little bit ADD sometimes. <laughs> you might have guessed. If you didn't guess, I'm telling you. It's great. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gadget. It's a gadget. Um, uh, there's been some really great ad libs. I'm trying to think of some that um, a lot of them don't make it to the show <laughs> you know, for various reasons. Um, but um, oh, I'm trying to. Who is really great? You know who is great is um, Kate Bristol. Is one of the best ad libbers of things. She will like. She will just continue talking on things that are going on. Um, she plays some things that I. And then she also plays a bunch of uh, she plays a bunch of creatures and a bunch of different things, and she plays a bunch of characters on Pokemon. But um, and she's worked on other shows that I've worked on with her. And um, all right, I'm gonna have to this is, this that's a, that has to be for like the lunch panel when I had a little more in me. But I, I'm trying to think of like good ad libs that have actually stayed with the show. But um, but usually they're like like reactions to to what people are saying. Or especially, and we'll always do that in session. Like somebody, especially if you work on a show, like like okay, other shows too. But any show that's a long, long running series, you know how the characters will do the same things and have like the same kind of reactions. So I, we always love whenever anybody asks a question. They're like, like, oh hey, oh my gosh, did you just see that just happened? No, did you see that? Didn't I just ask you the same thing? Especially when three people in a row say the same thing. So. Um, I didn't really answer your question. I, just got, I got stressed out by the minute left. It was very, as you can see, this is my stressed out position. Can you, can you tell? I know it's very, it's very convincing that it's not stressed out. I have a very opposite thing going on. Um, I think we're gonna have to end soon. But does anybody have a speed, little speed round over here? Any questions? Any, any questions? Yes. Do you like Waterburger? Do I like Waterburger? Hell's yeah. yeah! Of course, I had dinner there yesterday. <laughs> At tea. very late. <laughs> I like that. Exactly. All the time. I do. And you ask if I compare Whataburger to the other burgers that I've had, um, I won't do that because I will, you know, either I'll give you the right answer or someone might maim me. So, I'm, you know, and as I mentioned earlier today, I've just gotten away from that because I'm not around my kittens. So I would prefer not to be maimed at, at a con. Um, any other quick questions? Quick questions? Yes. And then I'm, and then I'm going to ask you your question. Yes. Real quick. What most interesting place you've ever visited? Most interesting place I've ever visited. Um, uh, I, I mean, I've gone a bunch of places around the world. It's true. One of the best, most interesting places that I've ever visited is I took. Um, it was actually in New York. I took a uh, canoe, um, a kayak, actually, onto a river, and there was a small deserted island inside that had a castle that had been there for a while, like an old fort. And so you were not allowed on this island, which I did not know until I got off of the island. So, <laughs> so we went in. 
uh, kind of it was sort of like going through ruins. I I, I like ruins. Um, there's some old um, there's some old Irish things and there's some old like uh, Portuguese places too that I've gone to. But I, I sort of like ruins. So like happening upon that, he like crawled into the house and tried not to fall through the floor, which is probably why people weren't allowed there. Yeah. There was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, quit you and then you very quickly. It's such a difficult one. I have cats now, but let me explain. And I love dogs. I have cats because cats are teenagers. Okay? I travel, I go places, I work a lot during the day. They can take care of themselves. They will hang out with you when they want to. If they don't, they will leave. So I love cats. Dogs are like little kids, and you have to be there all the time and take them walking. I live in Manhattan. I don't have a backyard. So I cannot. The only thing I have is a roof, and I don't think that that's the place I want to let my dog walk. So I have a little propensity towards the kitty. But I love the dogs. <laughs> An equal opportunity. So my answer is birds. <laughs> my favorite rapper. Oh. Oh. No, this is a loaded question. It's not really a loaded. No, I'm trying because it's like different. Oh gosh. Um. I don't, um, I have a blah blues and blah blues. You can neither confirm nor deny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe your favorite would be the top five. Okay. I feel like that's not any better. Alright, we're going to talk about this after because now my brain is like into the Um, different things because it's like, there's like, I need fuel! <laughs> My brain has stopped working! Um, Thank you for coming. I hope you have fun. I'm going to see you later. Yeah.